Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my Traxxas Slash 4 by 4 Ultimate Basher build out with me. As you can see, I'm actually in the sand. I uh, came to a local beach. Uh, this is about the closest sand I have access to. It's nothing like going to the dunes, but since I'm not traveling for work anymore, this is going to have to do. But as you can see, I've got the Traxxas upgraded paddle tires mounted up. This will be the first time running these. Uh, the last time I attempted to run them uh, was for the hydroplane video, but unfortunately because of where Traxxas placed a hole right in between the spoke, I could not get that hole covered up properly. I did not want water getting inside of these tires. So. I decided to use my ProLine slingshots in that video. Now, if you did watch that video where I attempted to hydroplane this machine, it was semi-successful. Um, there was a lot of fails, but in the end, we did do a successful hydroplane. If you do want to check out that video, I will go ahead and leave a card in the corner, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but um, I actually had to tear basically the entire machine apart after that video. Uh, we were having some sort of receiver issue in that video. Every single time the RC hit the water, I'd lose signal. And uh, when I took it home and took it all apart, it wasn't until the next day, there was water like filled up halfway up the receiver box. There was water inside the receiver box. So that's crazy to me because the receiver still works. It didn't work for a little bit afterwards. Like it was working, then it didn't work, uh, but I let it all dry out. And uh, now the receiver seems to work again. Uh, so that might have been the reason why we were having some receiver slash signal issues was because the receiver box somehow let water seep in. Um... Now, if you're not familiar with this power system, it's basically the system that comes out of the 1A scale 6S Red Cat Kaiju. It's a 150 amp rebranded Hobbywing ESC. I resoldered on a new plug, an XT90, and this is a motor that is also out of the Kaiju, a 4268 2100 kV brushless motor. This machine has got a ton of upgrades on it. If you haven't checked out the whole build series, I highly recommend you check out the Ultimate Basher build. I'll leave a card in the corner. A lot of goodies on it. Uh, low center gravity conversion kit, it has a GTR shock. Basically at this point it has everything that a, a Traxxas slash 4x4 Ultimate would have. A lot of RPM parts. I had to replace a lot of the bearings after running in the water. I actually switched the MIP drive shafts out altogether. There's nothing wrong with MIP drive shafts. So one issue and the one complaint I have with them is they don't have a pinhole. And the w issue with that is it's difficult to run my GPM wheel hex claws as you can see in there. Uh, without having that pinhole because then you have to use a grub screw and the grub screw doesn't hold long term So in the end I just swapped these cheap eBay special ones on which I've had good luck with uh, So we're running those all the way around Techno big bone center drive shaft uh, We got the Traxxas Haas center diff which after running that running in the water. I replaced all the diff fluid. I put I can't remember if I put half million weight or one million weight fluid in I think I put half million weight fluid in the center differential um Cleaned out all the front and rear diff, put 50k rear, I believe, and 30k front diff fluid in. Not sure what the stock um, specification calls for, but that's what I decided to put in. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's enough yapping. I'm going to run a 4-cell pack today. This 6500 milliamp ADC discharge rate 4-cell Avonic pack. Let me get it installed. We'll get started ripping in the sand. Also brought a couple of my little ramps with me so we can ramp and get a little bit of air. So, should be a heck of a lot of fun. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, here we go. These rip. Bye bye. They are quite a bit, um, the uh, actual scoops of the paddles are actually quite a bit taller than the ProLine slingshots I'm used to running. That's why I think these uh, tires would have been more beneficial in the sand. But like I said, after spending, what, close to 80 bucks on these, and they were, be they were brand new, I just didn't want them. I didn't want water getting inside of the foams and damage them. It wasn't worth it for me. This is probably the best spot to jump right here. some pretty solid air. Gotta love this Lash 4x4. One of my favorite machines and one of my go-to bashers. I 
wanna I wanna get a good launch from the front. Launch. Battery will not last very long ripping around here like this. Just full throttle, pinned. Let's see if I can line up that ramp. I don't want to hit the tree. I think this right here is going to be a better jump. So let's just jump her right here. I'll stand up on my perch over here and uh, we'll get some air. Start off easy. Solid air. All right, a little bit more speed this time. Ooh, that one landed with a thud. This body is gonna be in terrible shape after this run. Also, the sand here is not very fine. You know, it's a river beach. So there's a lot of like rocks and little pebbles. So it's not the softest of sand either, which is another reason why I don't like standing behind it here because I will literally get rocks shot right in my eyes. Not fun. Oh my gosh, I gotta put that one on slow-mo. That nose right into the ground. I'll have to look back at that. I think it was right into the bumper. That is brutal. Let's do one right at us. I want to get a good shot of it landing. Here she comes. Even on the grass, these still get pretty good darn, I can't speak, pretty darn good traction. Tumbled it. Let's get down there. Landed it. Ooh, that was brutal. Had to close my eyes on that one. I only have one four cell with me, so once this battery's done, we are done. But I brought a bunch more RCs with me, so don't worry. There's gonna be a lot more content coming from this location. Line her up with the uh, ramps, little ramps.
I want to hit this again. This is by far the best jump right here at this location. And you guys know I love to jump. All right, and here she comes. I'm pinned. Let's do that again. thing is like a little tank. All right, this time let's try to go right to the edge of the water and build up as much speed as possible. And here she comes. I think that's going to be the maximum amount of air we're going to get. And tumble! Let's get down to it. This battery's got to be pretty close to being done. It's a 6500 milliamp 4 cell, but uh, we've been ripping pretty hard here on the beach, so I just can't imagine it's going to last much longer, but I have quite a few other RCs I brought with me that we're going to rip here in a little bit. Yeah, you can see the consistency of this rock, or this sand. There's a lot of rock in it. You don't want this kicked up in your face. All right, get her flipped over. Tumble. All right, let's go for another big sender. Flip. That is impressive. I am putting that on slow-mo. That was awesome. We did another one. Two in a row. going to happen on that one. Once this battery dies, I have actually got my Traxxas slash two-wheel drive with me. I'm also going to be running the Summit Link Baja bug body. Whenever I'm in the sand and whenever I'm jumping, I always find it fit to run the Baja bug body uh, just because it flies better, number one, and also it's a Baja bug body. So it kind of goes hand in hand with sand, right? So it seems fitting to run the Baja bug body in the sand, but I'm going to take off uh, two of these paddles and throw them on the back of that machine. So we're going to get the first time experience running these Traxxas paddles on the slash two wheel drive as well. So stay tuned for that video. If it is live by the time I release this one, I'll leave a card in the corner. If not, just stay tuned. Another backflip from a different perspective. That was pretty sweet. She just hit low voltage mode, guys, but uh, we got a pretty good rip in, and I'll have to look her over. I don't think anything broke, so that is a successful bash. So if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for the next video with this machine. Later.